It takes a week to build a plant like this one. Soon it will be ready to accommodate cow manure. And after two more weeks, these dairy farmers will have their own supply of biogas. The plant was a major investment for the couple. I want it because I have been using wood, firewood, charcoal, and, and the like. So I need biogas. It's easier to cook. And how could you afford it? I sold two cows from here, then I managed to get that money. A German NGO called Atmosphere and its local partner, Sustainable Energy Strategies, helped set up this biogas plant. And 800 more across Kiambu County near the Kenyan capital Nairobi. With such facilities, we can make use of the cow dung that's produced every day in gardens like this to generate clean biogas. And if there's no smoke in the kitchen, there are no CO2 emissions either. So each biogas plant means four tons less CO2 each year. The biggest problem for people here is finding the money to pay for a plant. The smallest model costs 300 euros. That's, what I want to say. That's too much for most farming families who also have to pay school fees for their children. I go to be fed every day. The market is uh, huge in this county, but the problem is a lot of people are not able to afford. So uh, they don't have the money to finance it, even though we get a subsidy from atmosphere. There are hundreds of smallholder farms in Kiambu. They grow maize, cattle feed and vegetables. The yield is often just enough to feed the families farming the land. So adding a biogas plant is a big deal. Phyllis Wambui was able to afford one. She'd save some of the money she makes with her 600 egg-laying hens and her cows and she was able to get a microloan. The plant is fed with manure mixed with water. A pipe under the ground takes the gas produced to her kitchen. I wanted a plant after I had seen one at my neighbor's. Cooking is so easy now. I used to have to gather firewood and go and buy charcoal, and it was very expensive. Now I have no problems. I come home late and cook supper in 10 minutes. A byproduct of the biogas plant is a nutritious ferment, which can be used as organic fertilizer to enhance crop yields. The farmers can use it themselves or sell it. There is a system in place for collecting produce from farms, but there's no certification here for organically grown fruit and vegetables. It would be great if there were, and if growers could claim they use no chemical fertilizers or pesticides. Another problem facing farmers here is that the rainy season is at least four weeks late this year. They're worried that with the soil parched, their crops won't grow. These men are on their way to buy water. Their well has dried up. Massive deforestation has transformed the water cycle. The land is literally drying up. Just since the year 2000, almost 10% of Kenya's forests have been felled. Illegal logging remains a major problem. Phyllis Wambui's crops are not doing well. We're suffering because of the drought. We have to buy water now, and it's very expensive. It's hard for us. We need water for our vegetables and our animals. But now that she has a biogas plant, at least she doesn't have to buy firewood anymore. Frying eggs for the children after school takes just a moment. Phyllis will have paid off her loan in one year's time.
she doesn't regret the investment in the slightest. The biogas plant has changed her life for the better.